Case number 21. Verify the given identity. The ratio of 1 plus tangent squared beta over cosecant squared beta is equal to tangent squared beta. In order for us to verify whether this equation is true and correct, we are going to remind ourselves with the correct processes involving the transformation of certain uh, uh, trigonometric identities into either a combination of sine or cosine and at the same time the idea of the Pythagorean identities. We can use it in our numerator, the numerator of the left hand side expression because it can be automatically equated into a certain identity without even using its transformation from cosine to sine. This trigonometric identities or Pythagorean identities is, uh, are uh, versions of your unit circle. The first Pythagorean identity rather is given as the square of sine any angle. Let's just use beta because that's the angle here plus the square of cosine beta is just equal to 1. Now, it could also be commuted. You could have cosine squared beta plus sine squared beta. Nevertheless, as long as it's an addition, it's equal to 1. This is actually derived from our unit circle. The other forms of Pythagorean identities are taken from this, where we are going to apply a certain process. Let's say, for example, if we are going to divide all terms here by cosine squared beta. That would mean sine squared beta divided by cosine squared beta is actually tangent squared beta plus cosine squared beta divided by cosine squared beta is 1 equal to 1 over cosine squared beta is the square of second beta. This is another Pythagorean identity. And of course, we could also try dividing the first Pythagorean identity by the sine squared beta. So sine squared beta divided by sine squared beta is 1 plus cosine squared beta divided by sine squared beta is the square of cotangent beta equal to 1 over sine squared beta is cosecant squared beta. Now, these are three are Pythagorean identities which you can use to refer your processes that will involve no longer passing through the cosine squared or sine squared. Again, looking at this second form, this is actually similar to the numerator of our original expression found on the left hand side because we have 1 plus tangent squared beta. In short, we can just simply write it as this identity. So we will have here second squared beta. That's the equivalent of the entire numerator over cosecant squared beta. This is equal to as the given tangent squared beta. So this is now simpler form of the original, but still we're going to verify whether this expression on the left hand side, when simplified, will result to tangent squared beta. We are just going to manipulate the left hand side because it's a little bit complicated than the right hand side which is already a tangent squared beta. Now there are some cases where you can manipulate both sides, but in this case, let's just try to manipulate only the left hand side. We can do that by, after, uh, after using the Pythagorean identities, we can do that by uh, giving its equivalent forms in either sine, cosine, or a combination of both. Second squared is the reciprocal of cosine squared. In short, we can write here 1 over cosine squared 
beta and that is our second squared beta that's just for the numerator over our denominator of cosecant squared theta which is just equal to 1 over sine squared beta that's the reciprocal of sine squared beta by the way we could again see here cosecant squared beta being this but don't give the value of this for your denominator because you cannot simplify it further as this is already a binomial just like what happened to our numerator for a binomial expression we had a monomial so we stick with monomial terms here now this is equal to tangent squared beta as given and that's what we are trying to verify but let's return to that later as we have here quotient of two different rational expressions just like dividing fractions we are going to use here the keep change flip method keep means you are going to write the numerator or the uh, or the divisor as it is 1 over cosine squared beta so keep change means instead of division we will use multiplication and flip means reciprocate your denominator or your divisor when you reciprocate that you have here sine squared beta all over 1 now we have multiplication of fractions instead of division and we all know what to do with that 1 times sine squared beta is sine squared beta over cosine squared beta times 1 so you have cosine squared beta now we can return now to this form here because that's what we would like to show that the given original expression after using the Pythagorean identity here transforming to second square data of your of your numerator and moving to this we now found out that the ratio of sine squared and cosine squared to the same angle beta is just tangent squared beta which is just the same with our original right hand side this means that we have verified the given identity this case for missing identity is now closed if you may to be ready for some new cases subscribe now hmm